Today we're gonna be reading Ethi Ausay by the Quiet Man. In a quiet suburban neighborhood, there lived a man named Harold who was known for his peculiar habits. One sunny afternoon, he received a strange request from his neighbor, Mrs. Jenkins, down the road. She asked him to deliver a cupcake pan, a seemingly mundane task, but little did Harold know that this errand would take an unexpected turn. As he approached Mrs. Jenkins' house, he couldn't help but notice that something fell off. The sun seemed to cast eerie, elongated shadows, and the birds chirped in an unnatural chorus. Ignoring his unease, Harold knocked on Mrs. Jenkins' front door. The door creaked open slowly, revealing a dimly lit interior that was oddly distorted. The walls appeared to ripple like water, and the floor seemed to stretch endlessly. Startled, Harold cautiously stepped inside, clutching the cupcake pan. His footsteps echoed strangely, as if they were bouncing off invisible walls. He called out for Mrs. Jenkins, but there was no response. As he ventured further into the house, he stumbled upon a surreal sight, a hallway that extended infinitely in both directions, its walls covered in peeling floral wallpaper. Panicked and bewildered, Harold tried retracing his steps, but the hallway seemed to have a mind of its own. It twisted and turned, leading him deeper into the mysterious labyrinthine interior. The air grew colder, and Harold's heart raced. It felt like hours turned into days, and Harold lost all track of time. He encountered bizarre and unsettling rooms, each with its own peculiar theme, a room filled with oversized teacups, a room where gravity seemed to work in reverse and even a room inhabited by sentient talking furniture. Despite his best efforts, Harold couldn't find a way out. It was as if the very fabric of reality had shifted around him. He clutched the cupcake pan tightly, his only link to the outside world. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, he stumbled upon a room that resembled Mrs. Jenkins' kitchen. There, at a table cluttered with mismatched teacups and a flickering candle, sat Mrs. Jenkins herself. She smiled eerily and thanked Harold for delivering the cupcake pan, revealing that this bizarre dimension was her creation, a place where the ordinary became extraordinary. She offered him a cupcake bake using the pan as a token of her appreciation. But before Harold could react, the room began to distort and warp. Reality itself seemed to fracture, and with a blinding flash of light, he was suddenly back in his own neighborhood standing at Mrs. Jenkins' front door, cupcake pan in hand. Had it all been a strange dream, a delusion, or something more inexplicable? Harold couldn't be sure. But one thing was certain, he would never look at a cupcake pen the same way again. And he would always wonder what other bizarre secrets lurked just beneath the surface of his seemingly ordinary world.